is the quick menu button setup window of the software. Uh, this is where you have the opportunity to set up some uh, buttons or if we, as we call them quick menu buttons. Uh, those are buttons that can appear on the main screen of the software and you can use to do uh, quick sales. Um, you can sell items just by pushing a button. Each button can represent one item or a service in your business. Uh, this is just an innovative way, an addition that we do to the conventional way of selling an item by scanning with a barcode scanner, which you can still do with our software, of course. And uh, the other way is, of course, hand typing the item ID uh, by typing on the keyboard, which still you can do that, of course. This is just another way, added benefit, if you want to sell uh, items by just pushing buttons. Uh, this is where you go to set up those buttons. Now, uh, the main screen can fit 17 buttons somewhere in this area over here and this area over here. It will fit 17 buttons at once uh, in total. So, the natural question is, of course, uh, what do you do if you need more than 17 buttons? Of course, with uh, our software, you can create unlimited amount of buttons. And uh, what happens is you just toggle between them with um, with two buttons, they're they're kind of like a, a fast forwarding and back button. So you go forward and back. You toggle like pages of 17 buttons at a time. Now to organize them nicely, so it's not a whole big mess. Uh, we also have sub menu buttons, which is kind of like categories for your all of your buttons. So you can first click on a category and then get some buttons, click on another category, have some buttons and it's all uh, better organized like that. Now we will show you uh, how an example of how you can create some quick menu buttons uh, which can also have pictures on them by the way so you can differentiate them easier for easier work and uh, this is also optional. You can totally create buttons without any pictures on them or you can use pictures and uh, have everything be easily recognizable by your employees. And we will also create uh, one submenu uh, button or one category. Also, it's, it's important to uh, mention that uh, the pictures that we will be using, uh, you know, will be selecting through different folders on our hard drive. Uh, those are used just as examples in this video tutorial. Please don't expect that you'll be getting those pictures or that we have any rights to those pictures for distribution. So uh, don't expect that your computer will have the same folders with pictures. You're basically responsible to get your own pictures of your own products and your own services, of course. And uh, to create a quick menu button, you must name that button exactly according to the item ID in your inventory. Uh, so it corresponds to an exact item ID in the inventory. If um, this item or product that you're creating or even a service, right, uh, is not in inventory yet, if your inventory is empty, kind of like it is for us right now, you have to remember in order for those buttons that we'll create to become operable, we have to later on add those item IDs in inventory. Otherwise, the buttons are just pointing to nothing, to something that's missing from, from in inventory. So now we'll just go ahead and create uh, buttons for some services uh, specifically. And uh, keep in mind that we'll be adding pictures to them, but that is also totally optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, we made a little mistake in here. Good that this happened so you can uh, learn and see it's not a big deal. Uh, the software is just telling us that we have to create at least one sub menu first so that this quick button that we're creating has to belong somewhere. We just did notice that we don't have any sub menu buttons created. We'll name it services. Now we'll add the quick button that we just designated. 
and there's the quick button there's the sub menu or category button create a few more in here get the idea so now we'll just speed this up a little bit and one more for now alright so now we've created these service buttons in here along with the submenu button and I'll show you real quick how that looks like on the main screen so you got all these buttons here and that category buttons will show up here so for now we have just services and of course if you had more category buttons not enough to fit on at once all together in here these are the uh, toggle buttons that I was mentioning the forward and the back that's for the category buttons and this is the back and the forward for these uh, quick menu buttons if you have more than uh, enough to show on just one screen but we'll talk about that in the next video please watch the next video because this is a two-part two video uh, tutorial